Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss about seven wonders of the ancient world. The Great Pyramid at Giza, Egypt. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon. The Statue of Zeus at Olympia, Greece. The Temple of the Artemis at Ephesus. The Museum at the Halicarnassus. The Colossus of Rhodes, the Lighthouse at Alexandria, Egypt. The Great Pyramid at Giza. The Great Pyramid at Giza was constructed between 2584 and 2568 BCE for the Egyptian Khufu known in the Greek as Cheopas and was the tallest man-made structure in the world for almost 400, 4,000 years ago. Excavations of the interior of the pyramid were only initiated in the earnest in the late 18th and early 19th century CE and so the entrances of the interior which so intrigue modern people were unknown to the ancient writers. It was a structure itself with its perfect symmetry and imposing height which impressed ancient visitors. Second, Hanging Gardens of Babylon The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, if they existed as described, were built by Nebuchadnezzar II between 605 and 562 before Christian era as a gift to his wife. They are described by the ancient writers Diodorus Siclesis as being self-watering plains of exotic flora and fauna reaching a height of over 75 feet 23 meters through a series of climbing terraces. They were destroyed by an earthquake sometimes after the first century CE. Statue of the Zeus at Olympia The statue of Zeus at Olympia was created by the great Greek sculptor Phaedus, known as the finest sculptor of the ancient world in the 5th century BCE. The statue duplicated the god Zeus seated on his stone, his skin of ivory and robes of hammered gold and was 40 feet which means 12 meter tall designed to inspire elf in the worshippers who came to the temple of the Zeus at Olympia. The statue was carried off to Constantinople where it was later destroyed sometime in either the 5th or 6th century CE by an earthquake. Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. The Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, a great a Greek colony in Asia Minor, took over 120 years to build and only one night to destroy. Completed at 550 BCE, the temple was 425 feet, about 119 meters in height. 225 feet, almost 69 meter wide, sported by 127, uh, 60 foot, means about 18 meters high columns. It was rebuilt on a less grand scale after Alexander's death, but was destroyed by the invasion of the world. Rebuilt against, it was finally destroyed utterly by a Christian mob led by St. John Christotum in 401 CE. Museum of Halicarnassus The Museum of Halicarnassus was the tomb of the Persian satrap Mioslis built in the 351 BCE. Mioslis chose Halicarnassus as his capital city and he, his beloved wife Artemisia, went to great length to create a city whose beauty would be unmatched in the world. 
Moses died in the 353 BCE and Artemisia wished to create a final resting place worthy of such a great king. It is from the tomb of the Moses that he that the English word Muslim is derived. Glosses of Rhodes The Glosses of Rhodes was a statue of the god Helios the patron god of the island of Rhodes constructed between 292 and 280 BC It stood over 110 feet just over 33 meters high overlooking the harbors of the Rhodes and despite a fanciful dissipation to the contrary stood with its leg together on a base much like the statue of liberty in the harbor of new york city in the united states of america which is modeled on the glossus and did not stand on the harbor the statue was commissioned after the defeat of the invading army of the demetrius in 304 bce lighthouse of alexandria The lighthouse at Alexandria built on the island of Pharos stood close to 440 feet 134 meters in height and was commissioned by Ptolemy one sorter construction was completed sometimes around 280 BCE the lighthouse was the third tallest human made structure in the world after the pyramids and its light a mirror which reflected the sun's ray by day and a fire by night could be seen as far as 35 miles out of the sea okay we have discussed the seven wonders of the world today okay thank you so much thanks for watching allah hafiz